measurement of resistance using Wheatstone bridge circuit. Okay. Kelvin's bridge can be used for the measurement of resistance up to 10 ohms. For resistances, for medium range of resistances, we will be using the Wheatstone bridge circuit. With the Wheatstone bridge circuit setup that is present in the kit over here, you can measure resistances up to 900 kilo ohms. Okay. Now the range of ratio, the range of resistances that you can measure depends on the ratio of the two arms R2 and R3. By selecting the values of R2 and R3 properly, we can range, measure different range of resistances. In the video that I am going to demonstrate, I will be showing you uh, how the resistances can be measured up to 10 kilo ohms range. I will be keeping the ratio of the arms as 1 and making the measurement. Here Rx is the unknown resistances that has to be connected. I am using a decade resistance box over here. If you consider the Wheatstone bridge circuit, there are basically two things that can be done. A typical Wheatstone bridge circuit can be taken. One arm of the Wheatstone circuit can be varied and the output voltage, change of output voltage can be measured. That is one way. The second way is balancing the an unknown resistor balancing a known resistor in uh, such that the deflection in the galvanometer for such that the deflection is zero that is another method here we are going for the second way of measurement so in the wishstrom bridge circuit setup that we are having over here what we will be doing is we will be placing an unknown resistor over here now mm, we will be connecting a ratio of arms over here and the and another the resistors is varied such that the deflect such that the, the output is zero. The Wheatstone bridge circuit is usually operated with a DC voltage source. Here in order to use the speaker setup, we will be going for an AC voltage source. The output of the oscillator the output of the oscillator is given to the transformer input. The transformer output is given to the points A and B on the bridge circuit. I will be maintaining the ratio of 1 is to ratio of 1. So I can select any 4 values over here. As of now I will be using 1 kilo ohm resistor over here 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected over here and another 1 kilo ohm resistor is connected over here so in place of R2 and R3 I am using 1 kilo ohms resistors now uh, these two points are connected the potential may in place of R1 I am using a potentiometer and the potentiometer is connected uh, to the bridge circuit the potentiometer is connected to the bridge circuit in place of rx i am connecting a decade cap in a resistance box in place of rx a decade resistance box is taken the output of, uh, that we get in the wishstone bridge circuit is between the points c and d from these two points from these two points we will be connecting it to a transformer and a circuit and from the transformer i will be connecting it to the speaker setup From this point I will be connecting it to the transformer input and from this point I will be connecting the transformer input. C and D is connected to the transformer input and from the transformer you will be connecting it to the speaker setup as shown over here. Then apply any as the ratio of arms is over, he, over here is 1 and the maximum resistance of your potentiometer over here is 10 kilo ohms. Select a resistance of between 0 to 10 kilo ohms. As an example, I have connected 5.4 kilo ohms. So in place of Rx, I am connecting a decay resistance box with a resistance of 5.4 kilo ohms. Switch on the kit. You will be hearing sound similarly in this manner. Vary the resistor over here. Vary the resistor over here. Such that 
the sound that you will be getting here is a minimum value. 